Hi, here's the working diagram of an ABS speed sensor that's common in many cars. Each sensor sits in a fixed socket against a rotor that turns with the wheel. As the rotor turns, it produces a sine voltage or pulse in the sensor. The higher the wheel rotation, the higher the voltage the sensor will produce. The sensor itself usually has a 1.5 kilo ohm resistance, but may vary with your vehicle. You can check it with an ohmmeter across the sensor connector, which is located behind the back seat or in the trunk. If there's an open circuit or very high resistance, the wiring or the sensor is bad. These sensors provide safety, and if only one of four sensors is bad, the whole ABS and traction stability system is deactivated and it can be unsafe to drive. In my case, both rear sensors were bad and needed to be replaced. Auto shops charge around $160 per sensor and one hour of labor per site to install them. That's around four or $500 easy. So I couldn't imagine spending so much money before trying to fix these sensors myself. I replaced the struts uh, with the help of a friend and in the process we failed to remove this bracket which is holding the ABS wire and then this wire apparently got overstretched when we uh, removed the strut. So uh, what happens is the ABS light and the track light is now always on and actually uh, this is the diagnostic uh, code which is telling me that 33 and 34 the 33 code and 34 code are you know the problem so I actually uh, obtained that code by uh, jumpering TC and E1 in this uh, connector over here so I had to remove this pin from here and then I jumpered TC and E1 and then turning the on in the ignition will yield the codes which are telling me that uh, 33 and 34 are the problem which means both sensors are pretty much uh, you know bad now I already fixed the other one so I, I cut the wire here and I checked for continuity somewhere over here and I realized uh, it's not good at this point and it's good at this point so the problem seems to be around this bracket so when I removed this the strut this got overstretched and it broke somewhere right over here so I'm, I'm gonna try to find the uh, where it's broken in this wire and uh, try to fix this one as well for the first sensor, I was able to find the broken wires by tapping in different locations in the cable and running continuity tests with my multimeter. After finding where the wires were broken, I just cut the cable, soldered the bad wires and wrapped the cable back in some heat shrink tubing. On the other side, the wires were good all the way into the sensor, but the sensor was not producing a signal, so the only solution was to replace the whole sensor. Taking the old one out was quite difficult because of all the rust that built around it over the years. You can find ABS sensors on eBay for $20 to $30, a far cry from the $160, $180 Auto Shop Supercharge. Here's the new sensor installed. I had to clean the socket from rust with some sandpaper and I added some grease to make it easy to insert a new one in and keep moisture out. Here's what's left of the old sensor, came out piece by piece. And the conclusion is that you can do it yourself much cheaper with only a few tools and some free time. It's much better than paying someone else $500. So good luck and let me know if you were able to fix your sensors as well.